most stuff in there. You like red cabbage? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can reach some stuff right there. Cheese and bacon rolls. Cheesy bread. Let so. me hold that corner for you. See if you can get your orangutan arms in there a bit further. Oh, score. It's a bit rotten. Oh, it's squished. Damaged. Yeah, a bit squished, isn't it? There's some spinach there, bud. Look, right. Silver bead up the front here. Hand straight down the front. There's a big bunch of silver bead. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. Really Thai basil. Banana. Funky apples, that might be dessert. And there's some potatoes. Oh, more apples. Oh, limes. There's a papaya there, dude. You see that papaya? Right here. That green one. Oh, yeah. Papaya. Oh, it's a full papaya. And there's a big bunch of celery there, too. So, what you've got now, Craig, what do you it's think nice you're doing pair. with this? Like, how, how are you going to use this to, to complete tonight's challenge? Like, I'm, I'm thinking a bit of a fruit salad to start. Okay. And then... Yes, yeah, so you got the components of a good fruit salad there. Yeah, great fruit salad. Look, we've got limes, apples, bananas. But we've got papaya, pear. But you're not just going to give the judges one fruit salad dish. Like, obviously, you've got a whole menu plan. Well, I'm going to try and complement it with something. Yeah. So that stuff's looking. A bit. That looks pretty mank. It's very. There's warm. a hole in the bag too. It's quite warm. Do you typically not take bags if they have holes gaping in them? Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's all... What's the reason for that? It's all dependent on what it is, but mm. obviously, you know, when it's sealed, then it's it's been exposed to contents of the bin. Salted caramel and white chalk cookies. Yes, please. Let's just get this few last things here, but I think we should come over to the other dumpster and we'll have a look. Okay. And because I'm, I'm not finished there. But Craig really wants to maximise his opportunity of finding stuff now because once he's finished his dumpstering round, these are the only ingredients he's going to get to work with when he when he starts work at the barbecue. Always and fun watching you cook, Craig, because you're very creative and, and impromptu in the moment. Yeah, well, it's it's important to remain in the moment. So when cooking, because especially this style of cooking, because it could go either way. You want that half pineapple? A mango, that'll go good in the fruit salad. Came very early in the day. We weren't so lucky then. Yeah. Just, just have one last little swipe little through poke. you. And um, yeah, you're, looking that, you're looking for that last magic ingredient. There's some uncovered, uncovered ground here, so. A regular dining experience to a real banquet. Yep. What he's looking for something very. Oh, and this could be it. I think we've got it. Yeah, it's a good solid rock melon. Oh no, here we go. We've got some Ritz crackers. Oh, perfect. So this is going to... Wow, well, that's easy carbohydrates. I think I think your competitors are going to have a very tough time this yeah. season. Look, strawberries. It's, I mean, it's, it's looking better and better each time we go in here. So. Chop and chop pull apart, so... Mmm. Looking really, really good, so... You've got, you've got three courses here, yeah. at least, haven't you? And we've got strawberries, so we're going to have chocolate, strawberry, chocolate pull aparts. And My I mouth's watering already, to yeah. be honest. That sounds I incredible. Think that's gonna go pretty good. So we're looking very desserty tonight, I think. You know. We're certainly gonna eat well. It's gonna be a dessert course. It's gonna be a good dessert course. We might be having cheese and bacon rolls for entree and mains. Home style apple pie. Okay. We might get hungry later, so. That's right, and it and looks like you're almost a cert to be going through to the next round, so you're going to need enough ingredients for two meals, potentially. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, the, the game can go anyway, but now we're off to a good start. I feel confident, so I'm quite happy with, with tonight's haul. I think we might move on to the barbecues. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Craig. We can't wait to see what you're going to do with all these exciting ingredients. Basically, now, we're heading back to the hideout. 
to um, barbecue. That's right. Almost there. Get that grill fired up. So look, there's a few, a few bad apple. That's garbage. But come out of the same thing. That apple's really good. Yeah, there's so. just two in, two in eight is garbage. So that one's got a bit of a, a bruise on it, but you could cut that in half. But that's going to go to the chickens, so everyone would be happy. Parsley. Okay, so Craig, you've had a think about your menu. What are you going to cook tonight? Well, we've got, starting off, we're going to just have some Ritz crackers. That's a little entree. It's an appetizer. And then mains. Oh, we've got, yeah, cheesy bread, which we'll be toasting. And then we've got the potatoes, beetroot slaw, Thai basil. Some silver beet and some celery over there, so we're just going to make a bit of a stir fry. And then for dessert, we're going to have a fruit salad and possibly a bit of apple juice too. Today's fruit salad, we're going to put in rock melon, papaya, pineapple, banana, pears, apples, mangoes, a few limes and strawberries. So I'm just going to scoop this out of here, just scoop chunks. What's the secret to a great dumpster fruit salad there, Craig? I'm uh, mixing the colours up a bit. I think it's got the 75% visual presentation. We're very lucky to have a kitchen to prepare all this wonderful dumpster food in today. But quite often dumpster divers don't have this sort of luxurious setup of a headquarters, do they? So what do you do in those cases where you don't have a kitchen at your disposal? Well, you could walk down the street and maybe talk to someone that has a kitchen and possibly invite yourself or convince them to invite you back to their house and you could cook them a meal in exchange. Or really great way is to just go down to your local electric barbecues. There are many towns around Australia and they're free. Where do you find those? Usually at the local Lions Park or the sometimes the, the Rotary Club, uh, surf clubs, you know, just general parks and gardens. <laughs> going on there now, Craig? Right, we're just going to put some celery over here. Just going to start kind of breaking that down a tiny bit. And look, just to, to kind of lock in those flavours there. Got some of this Thai basil that we picked up earlier before. I notice there's no meat on the grill. Why is that? We didn't find any. And we didn't go fishing. What I'm going to do is just get the silver bait that we got. And that will just go on top. This is a pretty, um, pretty classic uh, traditional Australian recipe, isn't it? Cheesy bread. Yeah, it's, it's tried and true. It's been around for a long time but you know some people make it look a bit better than others this one's not too hard you just pull it out of the packet and yeah. it's that time now we're gonna we're gonna bring out the secret ingredient for tonight so what I've got here is actually garlic flowers from the garlic in the backyard just here. 
And so that's your secret ingredient on tonight's okay. Dumpster Chef. So that's, that's added a, a layer of complexity. To the... Fresh garlic flowers. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to think quick with these as we've got stuff cooking here. So, look, I'm going to pop them down here. Like no hesitation, Craig's moving straight into cooking these garlic flowers. Very confident. Well, it looks like Craig's cook is going really well, and I'm pretty confident he's going to pull off something pretty amazing for me to taste later. So we're going to come back in just a second and see how Craig's meal goes with the taste test. Okay, my favourite part. Now I'm going to taste some of these incredible dishes. Okay, so to start off with um, put some crackers, Ritz crackers. I'm going to put some of this celery and silver mm. beef. So that's infused. That with, looks with, delicious. That's infused with Thai basil. Barbecue grilled potato slices. They look really good. We put a garlic flour there. Wow, so pretty. Um, sure, we'll put put a few cheesy birds there. I love your flair with the plating up, Craig. That's one of the things I've always admired about your um, the work. You're very meticulous with your plating up. It's so really that's nice. a, it's not quite a meal, but if you'd like to taste it now, I can't resist starting with this cheesy bread. It looks delicious. Mm. Well, I mean, that's a classic Australian taste. Delicious. It's crusty. Yeah. Fatty. Yeah. Dripping with, like, cheese fat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to taste some of this um, vegetable and Thai basil stir-fry. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, we've been joking around a lot tonight, but no shit, man. That's delicious. And that's really good. Really? Oh, mm, try mm, that's delicious, man. There's a little bit of the celery. Right, there's celery in there. There's, there's a bit of the silver beet. Silver beet, and, and you've Thai literally basil. got fresh Thai basil in there, which also came out of the dumpster. It's great. That's really good. Yeah, it really is. So now it's time, Manny's going to eat the garlic flour mm -hmm. that I've prepared for him, that he's chosen. So this is tonight's mm. specialty food. Oh wow, that's really good. It's a classic grilled potato. Yep. On the barbecue. How many grilled potato on barbecue in the Lions Park meals you've had at this point? Um. <laughs> you, there's a lot That's of potatoes estimate. and dumpsters out there. Okay. I'd say 150. Wow, that, that silver beet stuff's really nice. Yeah, and I'm combining the cheesy crusty bread with the silver beet, with Thai basil together. Like a oh, little. Yeah. There's a silver beet as well. <laughs> Sandwich thing. Just like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very Mediterranean. And so, you need to do the fruit salad now? Oh, I forgot about fruit salad. Wow. Yes. So much. This looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Strawberries, mango, melons, two kinds of melons in there, limes. Mm. Wow. The limes just make the fruit salad pop. Yeah. I've never put limes in a fruit salad before. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Neither have I. 
You, got, you have limes, up. right? You thought, why not? That's it. Mm. That's where the ingredients come from. That's that's what happens. It's kind of really inspiring, actually, isn't it? When you, when you cook with things you find like that, and you have this random assortment of stuff, it forces you to be creative. It's actually a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it forces you to be creative. And you come up with new recipes based on the ingredients that you have. Right. Right, so do I get a score? Or do you, is there like some oh, sort of yeah. okay. rating system that you can do? Or? I just can't stop eating this cheesy bread. What are you cooking? Um, well, part of the, I'm, I'm going to give you your grade partly because what we ate here tonight is really like typical dumpster diver cook up fare. It's classic, it's reliable. This is, this is what dumpster divers eat a lot of. Fresh vegetables, bread, um, and, and quite random things, but also a lot of fruit. There's always a lot of really good fruit yeah. in, those, in those bins. Yeah. And because of that, because you've worked with very classic yeah. ingredients and created something that's unusual, you know, it's creatively cooked, it's creatively plated, it's very nutritious, it's tasty, Yep. Classic styling with a few new ideas, and just to keep it fresh. Yeah, know. so we we've decided and some good incentives like cheesy bread. <laughs> it's really that's a hook. Yeah, and we decided on this rating system for Dumpster Chef, where it's one thumbs up, two thumbs up, or three thumbs up. So this one, okay, you can hang on. So oh, I'm it's... giving I'm giving this one three thumbs up. Right, so it's a thumb in the foot as well. Three yes. thumbs up. So three out of three. Wow, three out of three. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm absolutely. I'm. <laughs> I feel so. I feel so grateful to be a part of this. This program and. You should eat some. Yeah, I should. Mm. <sighs> mm. Damn good, huh? yeah. So keep all the shit bits in, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, take them out. <laughs>